What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today we are doing a little bit of a celebration. Uh, recently we broke 3,000 subscribers on the channel and I'm super excited uh, seeing the channel progress as much as it has and I really appreciate all the feedback coming from the community that subscribed to me and watches my videos. Um, most of you guys, I'm saying 99.9% .9 of you guys are really supportive and really appreciate the advice and the help that I'm giving out on the channel. So I really appreciate all of you guys for helping this channel grow as far as it has. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is this is a little tank I've been working on um, as kind of like a 3,000 subscriber video. Uh, it's a little late. We're around 3,280 right now on the subscriber count. So doing pretty well still. So uh, this is a little tank that I've been working on. Originally the tank looked like this and I was very unhappy with it. So I tore it all down and we used uh, pool filter sand, uh, locally sourced stones from my yard. Um, this is manzanita driftwood. Uh, plant wise, we've got a little bit of java moss right here. This is an Amazon sort that was kind of struggling at life a little bit in another one of my tanks. And then all the greenery you see in here is java fern. I'm hoping that eventually that will all grow up through the manzanita and make it look really, really nice. Um, as far as filtration goes, hang on back, modified with sponges, a small sponge filter here, and a large sponge filter here. Um, so overall, a relatively simple setup. And the fish that I'm going to be stocking this tank with today, I was trying to go with a barb community tank. I don't see a lot of people doing that. And I wanted to give it a shot and see if I can do it. So basically what we're going to be dealing with today is a variety of tiger barbs. It is going to be kind of the main centerpiece of the tank. Uh, I got three different varieties. I've got the green tiger barb, the albino tiger barb, and the regular tiger barb. Um, I've got about 20 of them. So that's going to be the main piece of this aquarium. We're also going to be having some uh, zebra danios as kind of a dither fish. Um, I also have some Buenos Aires Tetras, I have some Golden Barbs, and I have some Cherry Barbs. Um, there's also already a bunch of Nearite Snails in here. And I'm going to be adding some more fish. Uh, my local fish store did not have uh, any Corydoras. I want some Corydoras in here for down on the bottom, get some movement going down here. Um, and they didn't have a whole lot of Cherry Barbs or the golden barbs. So I'm gonna be getting two or three more golden barbs as well as a handful more cherry barbs. I do have some cherry barbs in a tank over here which I may just move them into here um, to make a bigger school. Um, but that's basically what's gonna be going to this tank today. So as I unpack these fish, as you can see, I already have them temperature acclimating. Um, as we unpack them, I'm going to put them in a breeder box to give you guys a better view of them before I add them to the tank. Um, so that's how that's going to go. And something else that I'm going to do to this tank that you don't currently see, but you'll see it in future videos. Um, my shipment got delayed a little, bit, a little bit. I ordered a whole bunch of escargot shells. And I was going to take the escargot shells and kind of line them here around the stonework. Um, because I thought that would kind of give it a neat uh, little offset. Aside from just the plant stones and driftwood is having a bunch of big shells right here. I thought that would look really cool. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have them. My shipment got delayed, so the video must go on. So I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna start opening up these fish and putting them in the tank. I'll give you a better view of them, and uh, that'll be the video. So let's get to it. Okay, so as many of you guys probably already know, I do not uh, drip acclimate or anything like that. I am a proponent of the acclimate for about a half hour until the temperatures are reasonable and then remove all of the water from the fish store and put the fish plop and drop right into the tank so that's how I acclimate I know if I have more sensitive fish or shrimp or something like that I definitely drip acclimate but for all of my fish I don't necessarily do that just so you guys know 90% um, of the time I do drop and plop so that's what I'm doing here today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up these bags. We're going to put them in a breeder box. I'll show you guys the breeder box. We'll add all the fish all at once. 
So here we go. I guess I can show you these bags up close a little bit to kind of give you an idea. Let's see. So here are the Buenos Aires Tetras. I believe there are seven in there. So here is a mixed bag of Danios, Barbs, the big variety. And then this is the last bag of just Barbs. This is going to be the start of our Barb community. So those are all the fish that I previously listed. There are going to be more, but the store didn't have them all, and I also don't want to add everything all at once and cause a big bacterial bloom. Um, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to add these guys in. Now the water in this is from the tank, so I can go ahead and dump this back in and it's not going to make a difference. get a little acclimated to their surroundings here for a second. Alright guys, so everybody is in the tank now. Everybody seems to be schooling around a little bit more with their own species. I imagine in a couple days or two they're going to be separated off uh, fairly well and schooling and shoaling with their own kind. But right now they're in there kind of just checking everything out. One thing that I know a lot of people are going to point out is I added all of these fish right away as opposed to uh, quarantining and medicating and everything like that. And the reason I did that is because all of these fish are going to be new in this environment all at the same time. I'm going to use this tank as the quarantine tank instead of using a smaller tank and stressing everybody out even more. So they are still going to get medicated but they're just gonna get medicated here instead of a smaller aquarium. So, again, I just wanna to touch on, you know, thanking you guys for 3,000 subscribers. You know, it really means a lot to me. And I just wanna let you guys know that uh, money that I'm making off of the ad revenue is actually going back into the fish room. It's helping feed my fish. Um, it's helping me produce videos. And it's helping me do stuff like this. So. This entire tank was completely funded by your guys' support um, through ad revenue on my videos. So I really do appreciate it. I couldn't have done this without you guys. So as always, thank you guys for watching Traffish Aquatics. Links as always in the description down below if you need to get some medicine or filters or anything like that. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.